the Pendletons. Pendleton shirts, wool plaid shirts, were worn by surfers at the time, so Brian Wilson thought it would be a good name for his group. However, he eventually changed it to the Beach Boys. Before Kurt Cobain's band was called Nirvana, they went by a number of different names, including Fecal Matter, Cobain's original punk band, Skid Row, and Manbug, among others. Before the Beatles, John Lennon and Paul McCartney were rocking in Liverpool as the Quarrymen. Thome York's band used to rehearse after school. Guess when? Yes, on Fridays. Luckily, they changed their name to Radiohead. Tony Flo and the Miraculous Majestic Masters of Mayhem. If you thought Red Hot Chili Peppers was a long name, think again. Smile. Luckily, Brian May and Roger Taylor's band changed their name to something more majestic when Freddie Mercury joined them. The Young Aborigines. Apparently the name was based on the idea that their music should be primitive in some way, which is all kinds of wrong. They became the Beastie Boys instead. Screaming Abdabs. An early version of Pink Floyd went under this rather unique name. Sweet Children. Green Day started playing under this name in 1986. They were 14 at the time. Mr. Crow's Garden. Before Mr. Crow's Garden evolved to the Black Crows, record producer Rick Rubin suggested the name Cobb County Crows. We say they went with the right choice in the end. Wicked Lester. Before forming Kiss, Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley played in a band called Wicked Lester. Atomic Mass. The British rockers eventually came up with a rather good band name, Def Leppard.